in this video I will demonstrate dynamic linking so let us open the file air.cpp air.cpp file following other contents hash include stdio.h extern c double underscore underscore std call my abs double a if a less than 0 a is equal to minus a return a the difference between this source module and the previous video is we have got two new keywords extern c and std call by default c++ compiler at least special c++ compiler generates call for the code for the c decal calling convention or the c calling convention here you, you are specifying that you want standard calling convention or std call that is mandatory for every function which is exported from when you give extend c there is an implicit contract between the programmer and the compiler that my abs won't be overloaded so this is following the C calling convention C naming convention move to b.cpp that is another source module it is equivalent to the hello.cpp in the previous video hash include stdio.h extend C double underscore underscore std call my round double A and I am giving the logic of rounding a number here also you should note that you have got extend C and std call i have already explained what extend c stands for and what std call stands for std call means standard calling convention and then i have actually declared main.cpp in the main i will have hashing load stdio.h extend c double underscore underscore std call my abs extend c double underscore underscore std call my round both these functions i have given the prototype here void main in dog c car star star rg double x is equal to my round my abs minus 5.49 and you are just printing the value with print of percentage g slash n comma x the first and the first task which we, we should do is that we should compile a.cpp and b.cpp to create a.obj and b.obj let's go about that Okay, now it will produce a dot obj. In the earlier video, I combined a dot obj and b dot obj to produce a library file. But here I will be using uh, a dot obj and b dot obj to produce a dynamic link library. You have to declare something called an a module definition file. The name of the library is test exports my round my abs. Once you have got the a.obj, b.obj, and the test.def, you are ready to create the test.dll link link. We are specifying to the linker that we want to create a dll by giving the dll directive and module definition file is test.def name of the output file is test.lib and a.obj and b.obj should be linked together sorry it should give test.dll so let let's talk about the difference between test.lib when you create a dynamic link library and test.lib when you use the static linking in the case of static linking test.lib will contain the code the object file whereas in the case of test.lib will contain references to the functions in the dll so test.lib in the case of dynamic linking is called import library the sole purpose of that library is to import functions which resides in that dll into the executable file right. so let us go about creating the main program 
I will once again visit the content of the main program. In the main program, I am calling my ABS and my round, which is residing in the tested DLL. So let us compile main.cpp. Okay. Here I am going to produce the executable file. Link out test.exe. Uh, I'll be linking to main.obj and test.lib. The one point which you should take note is that I am not giving the name of the DLL while linking. I am giving the name of the import library. DLL should be present in the system when the program executes. It should be present in the path environment variable or in the current directory. And other important directories are Windows system 32 directory, Windows directory and the Windows system 32 directory. Now if I execute test, I will get the output. I am having test.dll in the same directory. Let us rename the function, uh, rename the dll. Now once again try to run test. It is giving an error. Application has failed to start because test DLL was not found. Reinstalling the application may fix this problem. I am going to rename test2.dll into test.dll. Now if I run test, it will work. I hope this will give you a good introduction to uh, introduction to the process of creating dynamic link library.